Welcome to DSNews.com. I'm Carrie Bay, and this is Monday's Top Default Servicing News. HUD has decided to delay a scheduled ban on dual agency listings for short sale properties, according to a statement from the National Association of Realtors. The HUD prohibition was first outlined in a July letter to mortgage servicers describing new anti fraud requirements for short sales and deeds in lieu of foreclosure. The original policy was slated to go into effect tomorrow. In a letter to HUD, NAR President Gary Thomas outlined the trade group's concerns with the reasoning behind the ban and its possible consequences. Thomas said, quote, NAR has been told that the policy was implemented because the HUD Inspector General detected fraud and abuse in the pre-foreclosure sales process. However, no statistics or reports were provided to NAR detailing short sale fraud by real estate agents. NAR takes fraud very seriously. If there is evidence of fraud by our membership, we would like to be part of an effort to develop policies that effectively address these issues, end quote. The Bureau of Economic Analysis reports personal income grew in August at its fastest pace since February, a development that bodes well for consumers' personal finances and their ability to continue timely mortgage payments. Income growth matched economists' forecast of a 0.4% boost. The Bureau also revised its estimate upward for income growth in July. Be sure to check out our extended coverage of these stories and all the latest industry headlines right here on our site. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again on Tuesday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.